guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a little tutorial on this makeup look. This is the makeup look that I was wearing in my top 10 favorite products from NYX video and I got a lot of questions and compliments on it. It's a look I wear fairly regularly and it is quite simple. It's very soft and definitely appropriate for like work or school so I decided to do a video on it. It is mostly NYX products. There's some high-end products sprinkled in but for the most part it's a very affordable look. Any high-end items that I did use for the most part can easily be swapped out for like a more affordable drugstore option if that is what you prefer. But anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into the makeup. For the sake of saving time, I've already gone ahead and applied my Tarte Rainforest of the C foundation. I don't have a foundation from NYX that I love, so I just stuck with that. And then I'm going to apply the NYX HD Concealer. I'm mixing the shades 1 and 4 because 1's a little bit too light, 4's a little bit too dark. Ideally, I would have like shade number 2, so I'm just going to mix these together. I am still not sleeping well, so I like to apply a very generous amount of concealer so my eyes don't look so sunken and tired. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with the Beauty Blender. concealer has pretty great coverage. I like to remain as expressionless as possible. And then I'm going in with my pressed NYX HD powder and setting that concealer. I really like this combination of products. I feel like it really just locks everything into place. And I'm just going to go back in with the NYX HD concealer in the lighter shade and just do a little bit of highlighting. my brows, I'm just priming my lids using my favorite Tarte eyeshadow primer. Like I mentioned in that NYX Top 10 video, it's kind of perfect because I've already been doing like a full NYX brow routine for most of this year. So I'm starting off with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'm going to speed this up for the most part because people are going to fill in their brows however they like, but I'm using the Micro Brow Pencil in chocolate and I always start off by just kind of grooming through my brows with the spoolie. I find this helps remove any excess foundation and concealer that may have gotten in my brows and also of course groom them into place. my brows pretty messy to be honest because I go in with concealer and clean them up after. Today they're a little bit messier than usual but I'm just going to take my NYX concealer in a jar on a small synthetic brush and just sharpen them up and clean them up. less the shape I want them I go in with my NYX brow mascara once again in the shade chocolate this is just like a tinted brow gel and I just go over them and gel them into place this product does not give the most hold but I like that it actually darkens my brow hairs because my brows and my lashes and everything are very light in comparison to my hair and I also like that this defines each individual hair as well. But if you are looking for something that's actually going to give your brows a strong hold, this isn't it. I'd recommend going for something like Anastasia Brow Gel. Now that that concealer around my brows is in place, I'm going back in with my NYX HD powder and setting my lids and brow area. This just helps to make sure that my shadows are going to blend out easily. And if you do have more oily skin and want something more matte, this powder is nice to set the rest of your face as well. My skin is just too dry for this at the moment, so I'm just going to really lightly dust on some of my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. So I zoomed you guys in a bit because now we get to move into the fun part, which is the eyes. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but even with this powder, my skin looks just kind of like dry. And my skin looks like that no matter what I do recently. It's really frustrating. But anyways, I'm going to be taking my NYX Avant Pop Palette in Nouveau Chic. And I am going to be starting with this shade right here. I just recently hit pan on this. And I'm using this as a transition shade. So I'm just blending that into my crease lightly with a fluffy brush. I've been using this shade a lot this summer. I decided to just take a break from my Tartlet palette and mix it up a little bit because I was using that so much. And this does give a similar effect to my favorite transition shade in that palette, which is Force of Nature. This is just slightly more kind of pink toned. So then for my lid, I'm going to be taking my Pure Eye Polish in the shade Satin. This is just kind of a light shimmery pink, and I'm just going to dab this all over my lids 
as a base for the shadow I'm going to be applying over top of it. I love these eye polishes. They are so shimmery and stunning. I'm just doing like a really light amount when you apply them full on. They're so intense and beautiful. I love these so much. But since I'm just using this as more of a base, I just want to apply it very lightly. I just like to quickly blend out the edges of that while it's still slightly wet. So then over top of the eye polish, I'm going to dab on this shadow here. As you can see, it's a very similar color, just kind of a light, satiny, shimmery, baby pink. This color swatches beautifully, but it just doesn't apply quite as nice, hence the cream eyeshadow base. If you do want to create this look, you don't necessarily need the eye polish. I would probably just recommend using something like a tackier base, like a glitter glue or something. But I'm just going to press this on with my ring finger once again directly over top of that and that eye polish just kind of gives this shadow something to grab onto and make it stand out a little bit better I find the shadow is really pretty on its own I just like to give it that extra little oomph and I'm just blending out the edges of that shadow once again and then on a more precise crease brush I'm going in with this deeper slightly shimmery purple and I am just really lightly tapping into this shadow and I'm going to be applying this on the very outer part of my crease and my outer corner as well just very lightly You can see the shadow does give a little bit of fallout, but it's mostly the shimmer, so it's pretty easy to sweep off once you're done. And yes, you guessed it, I'm going back in with the fluffy brush and blending that out once again. To pull everything together, I like to do my lower lash line, so I'm going to take this small shader brush and start off with that same shade that we used as our transition, and I'm going to apply that to most of my lower lash line, kind of excluding just the very inner corner. And then just so everything looks nice and cohesive, I am going in with that deeper purple once again and placing that just on the outer edge of my lower lash line. The one thing that this palette is really missing for me is like a light creamy vanilla kind of shade that I can use as a brow bone highlight. It has this pale-ish yellow kind of shade, but that is too dark for me. It'll work for you if you have like a more medium skin tone. So I'm just going in with my trusted peanut butter and jelly palette and I'm using this vanilla shade here, but any shade will work. I just like to kind of dust this on my brow bone and blend out those edges if you've seen any of my other videos doing makeup, then you know that I always do this just to kind of clean things up. So that is pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply a little bit of the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I don't really have any bronzing and contouring products from NYX that I love. I have their contour kit, but it's not my favorite. It's not bad either, but it's just not a product I find myself reaching for. So I'm just going to bronze up with my Marc Jacobs bronzer and then my Anastasia Fawn powder. If you guys have any recommendations for like individual bronzers or anything from NYX, then let me know. I also have the NYX blush in taupe, and I don't like that to contour either. I find it looks too muddy on my skin. But anyways, just going to bronze up. I do have an in-depth highlight and contour routine for acne prone skin and scarring and everything, so I will have that linked below. Blush. I believe in those videos I was actually wearing my Too Faced Love Flush blushes, but I figure I should probably try and make some of the face products NYX. So I am using this little NYX single blush in the shade Dusty Rose. They've since changed the packaging on these, but I believe they still have the same shades. NYX actually has really nice blushes. I am obsessed with their ombre blushes, but I don't really have one that I feel goes with this look. I really need to get more of them. They're so stunning. And then to top that off, I'm just going to highlight with Becca Moonstone.
I've talked about this so many times before, but this is my favorite highlight brush. It's the Luxie 522. I'll have this link down below, and I do have a 20% off discount with Luxie. And I am also going to take a little bit of Moonstone and just pop this into the inner corner of my eye to brighten things up. And finally, we've got lips. You could definitely pair a variety of lip colors with this look because it is fairly simple, but I personally like to do a slightly brighter pink lip. Not too bright, like hot pink, but just a nice little pop of color. So I'm going to line and fill in my lips with my favorite nude pink liner. And I'm just going to top that off with the Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. This is more of like a cool toned bubblegummy kind of pink. In the actual NYX video, I believe I had switched to a soft matte lip cream, but in the other videos where I was wearing this look, I had this combination on. And that is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful as always. Once again, I think this is just a great soft wearable look for school or work or anything like that. Like I said, I do this look pretty often and I can do it very quickly so if I only have like 15 minutes to get ready, it's definitely a good go-to. But anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm at Rihanna on all three and subscribe down below if you haven't already. But that is going to be it for today. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Now this next thing I know a lot of you guys are going to look at and be like, oh my god, why would anyone ever want that?